Today on our 2016 Ram 4500, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Tembrin Rear Suspension Enhancement System, part number TDR-TT4500. If you ever hauled a heavy load or had a big trailer behind your Ram, you probably experienced what a lot of us do, where the back end starts to squat down and we may get a little bit of sway and some body roll back there. And when that squatting happens, we're putting a lot of unwanted strain and stress on the rear suspension. It's gonna wear things out over time and really our tires aren't where they should be and our suspension isn't where it should be either. And since the back end is getting pushed down, the front end is getting lifted up slightly, which means our tires aren't gonna make full contact. We're gonna have irregular tire wear as well as our headlights being out of alignment. But upgrading the rear suspension is definitely gonna help with that. It's going to support the load back here and keep our suspension where it should be, nice and level. And it's going to prevent as much squatting. And it's also going to help with body roll because it's going to be able to counteract that and not sway as much. And since it's not pushing down so hard and we have that extra support in the back, it's not lifting up so much in the front. So we'll have better tire wear, better steering response, and our headlights will be realigned. So now that we've gone over some of the benefits and seen what they look like, let's show you how to get them installed. So here's what our Tembrins look like once we have them installed. Now these are going to provide us a lot of load leveling support and make sure that we're going to have superior performance whenever we have a heavy load in the back of our Ram. Our Tembrins are going to mount in between our frame and our axle, so that way whenever we do have that load or heavy trailer and the suspension starts to flex downward, this is going to take up a lot of the brunt of that force and it's going to absorb it giving us the support we need and the single convoluted design compared to either having two or three is going to be a lot more aggressive and more responsive when we put our load in because it's going to have a lot shorter of a deflection curve which means when we apply our load it's going to respond more aggressively and be a lot more stiffer giving us the support whenever we're towing those extremely large trailers or have those big loads in the back of the truck. Our AM springs are going to be made out of rubber, so they are going to act as a shock absorber. So whenever we're driving down rough terrain, hitting bumps, it is going to take a lot of that force and not transfer it into the cab of our truck. Now our springs are going to work independently from each other from side to side, so it's going to help out a lot with those off-center loads or if we're driving on uneven pavement, as well as help reduce body roll whenever we make a sharp turn or evasive maneuver. Our kit is going to come with both springs and brackets specifically made for our RAM. Now we're not going to have to drill it all and it's going to have all the hardware necessary in order to get it in place. Where our factory downstops are really just meant to prevent the truck from bottoming out and the axle coming in contact with the frame, our Timberins are going to be there to help support and give us that extra strength in our rear suspension. Our Timberins are going to be rated for 10,000 pounds, but keep in mind they're not going to increase the payload capacity of your RAM. They're just there to help support your suspension so it doesn't have so much stress and strain on it. So you always want to double check the owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. To begin our installation, we're going to come to the rear axle, and right above that we'll have our factory John stop. I already went ahead and sprayed a little bit of spray lubricant on there, but it's always a good idea to soak it down because these bolts can rust because there's really not anything protecting them, especially if you have a salt truck like we have here. Then you're going to want to grab a 16 millimeter socket and there's going to be a bolt on the back side as well as on the front of our bump stop holding it in place. So we'll pull those out. And you want to hold on to the hardware because we are going to reuse it. So we can start assembling our springs now. Now if we look on the inside with the large hole, you'll see that there's going to be a washer inside and you want to make sure that it's flat and then it lines up with the hole on the other side. We'll take our spring and our bracket and we'll find a threaded hole on our bracket. Make sure that's facing up and we'll get our spring loosely sitting on top so it's pretty well lined up. Then you're going to want to grab a 19 millimeter socket and an extension and we can help guide that bolt through that washer and into the bracket. Just want to make sure that that washer doesn't move on you and kick to the side and the bolt just go through the spring. You want to make sure it goes all the way through the washer and the spring. 
It'll take a little bit of wiggling that bolt around, but once you have it lined up and it's coming through the spring, we will line it up with that weld nut. We'll get it started and we're going to tighten it down to where that spring isn't going to move on the bracket anymore. Now when we go to put our spring in place, it's very important that we pay attention to the bracket. One of them is going to be labeled left, which is going to be the driver's side. It's also going to have two holes, one oval hole and a slotted hole. The oval one needs to go towards the front and the slotted one goes towards the back. And you'll notice in case that sticker did come off, there is an offset. You want your holes to be towards the outside or towards the leaf springs. That way you know which side the bracket's for. And before we put our bracket all the way up, if we grab one of our bolts, we're gonna loosely install it into the rear weld nut where we took our down stop out. And this will help hold the bracket in place because it is slotted. So we can just slide it in and it'll at least hold it up there so we can get the bolt in on the front side. So now that we have both bolts in, we'll come back. And since there's limited space, we'll be using a 16 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten up those two bolts. So now that this side is nice and tight, we're gonna go to repeat the same process for the other side. That'll finish up your look at the Timberin Rear Suspension Enhancement System, part number TDR-TT4500 on our 2016 Ram 4500.